Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome to Man vs. Film. This is another Blu-ray pickup video for August 2015. Man vs. Film. Hi. Now I've went a bit off the reservation this month and bought lots of movies, so I'm just going to try and burn through these as quickly as possible. If there's something I want to talk about, I'll give a brief couple of sentences, but I'm just going to burn through them. First up. There's something about Mary. I haven't seen this in years. It's one of my favourite comedies. Um, I've got it in DVD. I wanted to upgrade it. It was a few, a couple of pounds. I thought, fine, not a problem. Great movie. Can't wait to stick this one again. Robin Hood. This is part of my Ridley Scott thing that I just I need to pick up all these movies at some point. I think I kind of liked it at the cinema. Can't remember. It was only a couple of quid. Want to give it another shot. Deep Blue Sea. Love it. Fantastic movie. Makes not a lick of sense. It's completely ridiculous. The CGI is horrible. Fantastic film. John dies at the end. I've seen this a couple of times on Netflix and I wanted to pick up a copy for myself. I like Don Coscarelli's movies and this is another one that's fantastic. I don't want to tell you what happens in the end, but it's a great movie. If you haven't seen this, check it out. It's probably on Netflix wherever you are. A movie that I said I was never going to pick up, but it was that cheap that I had to, and that was The Bourne Legacy. Picked it up for £1 and you know what, I'll give it another try, but I don't think it's going to be up too much. Uh, a Star is Born, a musical I haven't seen before, picked up. I tend to pick up a lot of Masters of Cinema movies. It's mo movies that I buy blind buys that I've never seen before and they generally are always fantastic. This is The Ballad of Narayama. I also picked up The Insect Women. I don't know much about the French New Wave and I've been trying to get into certain things of it. One of the biggest movies is Breathless and I managed to pick that up at a fairly decent price. A movie that I've seen the clips for the trailers and I didn't think it looked anything but I seen it at a price that I thought why not give it a shot at that and that is The Watch. I don't know what this is going to be like at all but I'll give it a shot at £3. A movie that I missed at the cinema came and gone as quick as that and I really hated not seeing it. I liked Denis Villeneuve's Prisoners when I went to see it and that is Enemy and Jake Gyllenhaal has been in a great streak recently so I'm really looking forward to watching this. Now one of the last year's most controversial movies was The Interview, James Franco and Seth Rogen. When I seen the trailers for this thing, I thought it looked abysmal, absolutely terrible. And then there came all the controversy and I thought, I'll give that a shot, I'll go and see it, see what it's all about. And eventually I downloaded it and watched it and I thought it was really quite funny, quite enjoyed it. It's ludicrous, but I enjoyed it enough to actually go and pick it up on Blu-ray. Nicholas Winding Refn's follow-up to Drive, Only God Forgives, I thought it was a really interesting movie. Not as good as Drive and not for everybody, it's very slow paced. But I liked it. James Purefoy and Solomon Kane, a fantastic movie I saw in the cinema a few years ago. Again, it was fairly cheap, so I picked that up. I like Zombies, it had a cool cover. That's probably going to come back and bite me, but this one is Deadheads. Don't know a thing about it. It was just remarkably cheap and looked fun. Another Master of Cinema release, and that is Simon Killer. Again, I know nothing about it, it's just Masters of Cinema. That's good enough for me. One that I've wanted to pick up for a long time. I can't remember if I've seen this or not, and that is The Life and Death of Colonel Blimp. Another Masters of Cinema. Listen Up Philip, recently just released here. One of the craziest movies I've ever seen has just been released in Blu-ray here and I managed to pick it up at a great pre-order price and I can't wait to sit down and watch this again. Now it's completely ludicrous, bonkers, but I love it and that is Ricky O, the story of Ricky. A tale of a young man that's put into prison and has to fight all these crazy half-monster things. It is ridiculously bonkers crazy, but I love it. Another Masters of Cinema movie, Stalag 17. Ralph, Ralph, whatever he wants to call himself, Ralph Fiennes' uh, director of debut and that is Coriolanus, starring Jared Butler. Had to check the cover there, couldn't remember his name. Um, don't know much about it, I just know it's based off a Shakespeare play. I want to check it out at some point. A really good remake that I saw a few years ago in the cinema was The Crazies. Um, wasn't as scary as I hoped it was going to be, but it did have some nice touches, so I'm looking forward to watching it again. And finally, whew, it's quite tiring actually. My last movie I picked up, and it's always the last, is Steelbooks, and I picked up one Steelbook this month, and that is John McNaughton's Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, starring Michael Rooker as, as Henry. This is a great movie, it's kind of, dis it's, it fits along the disturbing sense of movies, it fits in with the very first Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's that kind of, makes you feel icky just watching it. And I've not seen it in a good few years, and picking up a Blu-ray copy, especially in this very nice Steelbook, I can't wait to give it a watch. So that is it. That is all the movies I've picked up in the past few weeks. All 23 of them. Have you picked up any good bargains? If so, let me know. Please, you can get me on Twitter, at Grimdo, or you can contact me through the YouTube page, because, you know, I just love to pick up Blu-rays. And I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film. Man vs. Film.